Andy, Fraser Nash Manufacturing, we've been here before, but since my last visit, you've invested lots of money, haven't you? Yeah, so we've been a bit on the spending spree the last couple of months. Um, five new machines last year, um, two five axis. So uh, yeah, it's been a bit of an investment this year. And the majority of it is actually with Mazak. Can you talk us through that journey? How long have you been dealing with the company? So uh, we started back in Mazak sort of uh, late 1990s, really. Um, our oldest machine on the shop's just coming up to 23 years um, and just gradually sort of swapped the other machines for, for Mazak and brought new ones. So it's um, been a really nice um, partnership over the years, uh, really well supported, nice solid machines. Um, I say the one we've still got is 23 years old. There's not many machine manufacturers that will keep up with that. Yeah, and what, what's your latest acquisition? So the latest acquisition has been uh, 25 axis. Uh, so we've got an i700 and another i500 just behind us here. Um, so it gives us a little bit more capacity on the smaller stuff and also gives us the bigger scope on the larger stuff as well. And why have you going for five axis? Do you have a lot of five axis work or are you just after the flexibility? A bit of both really. Um, so probably about 30% of what we do subcom wise is five axis um, and people are sort of increased demand of that recently um, but also gives you the flexibility as well because you can still run three axis stuff on five axis um, and it's just the easier to hold it as well. And what features do you like on, on the new Mazak machines? So the easy access to the uh, to the job so the front two um, entrance ways push back uh, so the guys can get right in on the chuck um, so easy sort of work holding uh, quick changeovers and also for the bigger stuff we can get a crane straight overhead to drop it in. And you've also gone for obviously the new control, the smooth control. How is that when you compare it to some of the older controls you have here on site? So quite a big jump up in technology in the last couple of years with the Mazatrol. Um, it's faster, uh, it's more reliable, and it allows you to sort of take slightly bigger hits as well um, on the sort of cutter control. So when you look at the components that come off these machines, obviously you do some quite clever work here. You know, just for the viewers, how do you find the productivity, the surface finish, the quality that comes off the machines? So the quality coming off the machines is always a, a drastic improvement with each uh, each step in the Mazak. Um, productivity, again, they're faster, um, more reliable, so there's less downtime. Um, and I say with the new five axis, uh, easy access, so they're quicker to change over as well. So productivity has gone up quite dramatically. And we visit a lot of companies at LMTD, as you know, and brand loyalty, it's not always a given. So why have you stayed loyal to Mazak for 20 years? It's always the easy one. You either get the best tool in to do the job and sort of run the risk that you're going to end up with a, a machine shop of five, six different machine manufacturers. What we wanted to do is sort of keep a, a uniform platform across the, uh, across the workshop. It means that if John's on holiday for, for a couple of weeks, his machine doesn't sit idle because no one knows how to use it. Um, so it just gives us that more flexibility. Um, and also from a training point of view, it's much easier to train someone on one system um, and then we can throw them on pretty much any machine in the factory. So it, it's more flexibility um, and it's more consistency now as well. But why Mazak? You could have done that with any manufacturer. Absolutely. Um, we just wanted something that was a premium brand, a solid, reliable, and does the job. Um, we looked at several when we started the journey and I say we, we've had many different manufacturing machines over the years. I think we've had 15 different types or so. Um, and Mazak has just been the one that stands out. Um, I say we, we're proud to be with them for so long and they support us in any way they can. And you mentioned four new machines last year, but at the beginning of 2019, you like to see anything else new? Uh, so we've got another big bed mill uh, coming in in the not too distant future. Um, we're a little unsure of what else is likely to be. There's likely to be wires on the list as well uh, and another AM machine or two. So um, there's a lot of possibilities. It just depends on uh, when you speak to our customers and find out what they're doing. More growth, more machines, more investment. Absolutely. Big plans for the next couple of years. So um, we'll start as we mean to go on.